Okay, so hello everybody. Uh, lot of topic I want to say today uh, was explained by Sergey, but uh, I'm not a coder. I'm consultant. M uh, many people know that, so I will try to show another view, another approach from the same problem. Uh, okay. Okay. So, something about me. Technology is losing. So I'm the founder of the company of Multimage uh, and Carl Dampier. Uh, I'm speaking uh, Hungarian, Slovak, English. <laughs> Territory we are working uh, Slovakia mainly, uh, sometimes Czech Republic and also Hungary. Uh, I'm working 15 years. Uh, I have 15 years uh, experience with business consulting and integrations of the systems. We have various customers in various are area. Uh, it's very typical to <laughs> have uh, in our uh, case uh, to have very specific uh, uh, customers because we have, uh, for example, customer uh, in the Kia super chain. They are serving uh, GIS orders in each minute uh, from Kia and uh, they have four hours uh, delivery time. But also we have customers who has e-commerce uh, web store and we have integrated through Magento and so. Uh, this leading me also uh, sometimes to solve uh, are asked to various ways or specific ways and uh, when we are looking for uh, alternative solutions how to get or serve data to specific uh, uh, consoles or scanners we start to look for uh, for mobi uh, mobility solution and uh, we define a project after some experiences first uh, since uh, f seven years ago, we worked with Unitech. Then uh, we had some experimental uh, experimenting with uh, with uh, Romobile from uh, Zebra. Uh, but uh, after that, we recognize uh, and uh, understand those new te technologies are, are state of art technologies. That means there are not uh, not stable like uh, Java, but uh, under uh, going of uh, improve, uh, continuous improvement. This make our uh, job quite complicated, but also uh, showing us uh, the right way from, from my perspective. So we defined, uh, late, uh, first we define our project uh, like, okay, we want mobile client. But later we understand uh, there, are, there, is much, there are much more options uh, and opportunities. Uh, so we so we rethink uh, this uh, opportunity, and we say we want to implement uh, the standalone mobility client uh, built on uh, JavaScript client side technologies. This is same uh, uh, Sergey uh, talk about. So at the end we need a web service, um, REST way, not SOAP way, because uh, developers uh, working with uh, with uh, uh, JavaScript, don't like uh, SOAP, complexity. Uh, schema is very uh, mm, common. Uh, also, as Sergey showed, it must be easy, self-describable, uh, describe it uh, without documentation. That is important. Uh, we start the research uh, of the mobile frameworks, but uh, we recognize we have uh, and, and today's are many, many, many options on the market. But four years ago, maybe five years ago, <laughs> we understand, okay, there is a native development. Uh, but uh, yes, the, the good side is, a pro, is uh, comp uh, performance is very uncompromisable. So you can have very high performance devices, like developing Android, which is uh, similar to Java. In the latest version, it was changed to Kotlin, as I know. Uh, also, there is an Apple uh, iOS uh, development uh, framework, uh, which is the Swift. Uh, we don't work with the React, but, uh, and the reason is because Java, as Sergey told, Java and uh, Angular is very similar, uh, or switch from Java to, uh, uh, to Angular. Then, that's time, Ionic uh, proposed uh, 
uh, their, uh, their framework, uh, including uh, inbuilt uh, Android. That time, that was Android One, uh, uh, Ionic One, yes. Uh, so we decide for uh, Ionic. This is Ionic framework, and uh, very short, this uh, the source from uh, Ionic uh, site. So what is important? The structure is very same. So Angular, React, Vue, Stencils, JS, JavaScript, JavaScript framework. We are developing in HTML5. We are using for styling CSS. And uh, we have two important parts, which is uh, communication with, uh, with the hardware itself. Let's say if we want to track G GPS, or we want to make photos, or we want to access the file system, on, or any other, there are many, many plugins, maybe around two, three hundred uh, Cordova plugins. But the new way is capacitor also important because uh, there's a new term PWA, it's a PVA, uh, and that leading to the way no anymore native compiled application, just web browser, including web services behind web service workers, which is uh, taking care about. Uh, uh, synchronization of data and offline uh, syncing. Uh, and also, uh, you don't need anymore to build, uh, make a building process. So, but, but at this moment, what we have options, and this new version, latest version 4, was uh, uh, introduced a big change because uh, we are able uh, to build iOS, Android. We can use our applications, this platform, BBA, and at the end, in the latest uh, version, we also use the uh, Electron, which is the JavaScript desktop framework. So if you write uh, something, uh, I meet uh, a guy from uh, Lebanon, he's a .NET developer, yes. And uh, in this case, you can write Windows application by uh, Angular and JavaScript, and you just build this as Electron. We've spoken today about the uh, Slack. Slack is also written in uh, uh, JavaScript and built with Electron, which is very good for us because at this moment we are able to produce multiple applications one for various purposes, depends on the needs. Same knowledge, same code base, same experience. So this is a development uh, kit. You can read more on their web page. Uh, what were, uh, what uh, our goals and not goals. Very quickly, uh, we want uh, online and offline support. So we are first offline, I'm saying. This means we are getting data and we are allowed also to communicate online. But if the, the internet is gone, then we can uh, continue in local storages and local database. Uh, we have two options to communicate with backend. One is sync and second is async mode. Sync means uh, uh, REST calls. And async mode means, means we send the job to the server and uh, we're waiting until this job is, uh, will be finished. For example, we know uh, in, from the IDMPR perspective, there is a process which has option run as job. We had the follow problem. Uh, we are sent, uh, we have um, inventory moves in the scanner and this inventory move has, let's say, 100 lines. Uh, we are using Amazon as middleware for API, and if we send the post to the server, the Amazon has, from security reason, 10 second timeout. That means if the server processing our document, because ERP is a big uh, platform, so we need to uh, take care about accounting, costing, and many, many topics around, then we got back timeout and we lose the status. So we cannot assign the local record it was processed on the server. What we did, simple uh, implementation, we improved, we made the endpoint, the process status. Uh, we did some improvements on the process. So if we send the, uh, the request, then uh, we start process as job and we get back to the client the ID. And our client in each three seconds asking what is the status behind with the workers. So this is one example which would be very interesting to improve if and uh, also support async uh, mode. Uh, the second approach for the, from the async mode is uh, everybody remembers uh, uh, post solutions where ActiveMQ was implemented. 
So most of data at this moment we are sending to the device by ActiveMQ and Camel. So when we uh, start the device, we uh, start the initialization and we streaming data uh, on the queues channels behind and the uh, user doesn't make sense and this is continuous later. So replication in the post, each time happening the, an event, we replicate the JSON and uh, the device process it and update the master data. So that was the reason why we decided uh, around uh, async. Uh, Multi-user support means, okay, you have the console and the warehouse and you have uh, 20 users which are registered on device and they are just come, uh, login with pin code, pin scanning, let's say, and uh, make their task, log out after automatically on the action, on the end of the uh, task, and uh, again login. And this rotating uh, each time. Our goal was to follow IDMPR principles and business logic. That is important because we like IDMPR, it's a good uh, product, it is framework, and we have big freedom in this uh, platform, thanks to core developer also. Uh, related to security, we follow OAuth and uh, GVT also. So uh, that is, a, uh, from my perspective, it is very good uh, example how simple we can improve uh, existing components. Last uh, time when uh, we was on conference, we talked uh, with Deepak about the uh, token management, and he has solution web tokens. It it makes simply as the calls and response and f uh, remember the tokens. What we did, we improve by token pro provider, and we have multi multiple types of provider. Uh, one provider is Amazon Cognito provider, who is returning, generating the token, and we have refresh access token based on normal, regular OAuth uh, principles. But also we have uh, GVT, we are using now. Uh, what we're saying, okay, we never want to connect to di database directly because this is dirty, risky, uh, we can delete data or make uh, non-valid uh, uh, non, uh, updates or something like that. Uh, not goals, because <laughs> we have not enough capacity and experience maybe, we cannot say, okay, we want to make the complex client, which is co copy uh, full uh, functionality and meta model and everything of uh, uh, IDMPR. Secondly, uh, th this, this means uh, we have no uh, complex application dictionary. But secondly, in my opinion, uh, IDMPR is big because you can quickly define new objects, new windows, you can work. But the second side is the problem. Uh, the users uh, doesn't, you, you do, if you want to make very uh, specific UI, this is very time uh, costing. So if you start to work with form and you want to implement value preference or something, then you are in the hell because you will work uh, two weeks on that and you will have a lot of bugs maybe. So that way is uh, some uh, solutions coming uh, on the client side. And. Uh, the last years showing us uh, those four uh, areas are important. Mur Murillo told us about uh, you can collect any data as you want. If no charts, then no success. Yes, this is very similar because if uh, yeah, I can say okay, we can show data on the panels, kiosk, or Raspberry solutions, or anything. Uh, let's say operation dashboard, customer kiosk, or KPA dash dashboard. Principle is same like on the web page. Difference is just at this moment we haven't the REST API, but we have uh, some specific uh, communication way. Uh, the standard, uh, which was the first goal, is uh, ent uh, support enterprise devices and write uh, regular warehouse applications like uh, product locator BP info, BC partner info. So we can scan and say, okay, uh, which products I have on this locator, how many quantities I have on this, on this locator, and so. So regular information is required by uh, given a uh, role. Uh, regular VMS operation, WMS operation, ship confirmation, logistic operations. At this moment, we are dealing with the 2D shuttle system with customer. Uh, maybe we will use also this uh, on this uh, topic. Commercial devices, this is very common, like sales, uh, are a mobile post. We have customer with mobile post solution. They are selling many times online and offline also from cars and uh, sending synchronized data 
uh, with the backend. B2C client we can make on the web store also, and uh, for example, logistics drivers. Uh, the terminals we have in the Kia also, Kia uh, supply chain, uh, our customer, uh, a GIS console, and also WMS console, it's built with Electron. So this is the normal Windows application. The reason was because we started to use Android, but uh, 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 you spoken about, uh, about the performance of Raspberry, that is problem. We found uh, Xdroid, but still was not enough performance because Android read Android require very high performance, uh, high uh, hardware requirements, not not simple. So this those area are uh, which which we recognize we need to handle, and uh, and uh, this way we we have freedom because uh, if the server going off or or something else then we can work with uh, with this system. Uh, some small, small example. This is really all the UI, but uh, in the case, so at the end we are making HTML with I, uh, Ionic, and we are trying to keep the today standards B two C standards of users because users has habits from their Facebook and other applications, and we don't like to make old style Windows applications. We want to make today's applications. This was the old MC3200 uh, device, small display, not anymore. Uh, Android, iPhone, and so on. We are still working to uh, make the UX better. Uh, I have a daughter who is working with uh, icons. So she, she creates very nice icons. This is the new concept, how this field works. That's very interesting. Because we have feedback from customers, so we're trying to make it better and better. And, and the uh, HTML5 is interesting, but not easy to development, I can say. OK. Uh, generic features, some, some of them, not all. Login by backend user, that is important. So all users we have are defined in backend and authenticated against backend. Uh, online, offline, by PIN. Login by PIN if you want to scan. So users sometimes don't like to enter PIN, just scan their pass board or board yes, and, uh, and uh, login. This is common practice in the big warehouses. Multi-user switch, multi-user and switch user support. Uh, we are able to sync then incremental sync the devices through MQ uh, streaming. We have permissions per all uh, which applications available on the device. We can use a data wedge for scanning, RFID. Uh, we have the Cordova plugins, barcode management, uh, multilingual. Uh, this is the fully multilingual uh, Angular responsivity and intuitive uh, UX experience. We have also its important feature. This is new one. This is uh, like uh, private access in uh, in. Uh, in uh, Idempia, a private lock or something that. And we have to do the same. We just make the simple object and if the user opening the document, so he taken this document, then second will have lock icon and cannot open it anymore. I'm not a te technical guy, but I will try to say something around. So what we have, we have a mobile client uh, on top of uh, Ionic. Then uh, we have middleware at this moment, but this can be changed soon, I believe. So what we are doing now is uh, if we are sending a get or post, then uh, we have Amazon API, which is good for security. But behind the Amazon API, we have the Lambda, which is the serverless uh, service. So they are charging by seconds or milliseconds. And uh, we are converting. Uh, SOAP requests to JSON and vice versa. On the opportunity, but this is uh, not something uh, very special because I read uh, many of this topic and uh, many companies doing this way. So SOAP is like enterprise. It's much more, much more better. This, uh, much more better to describe the structure, but is not uh, readable. 
and uh, many companies uh, doing this way. I heard something from Italy also, from some people here. Uh, okay, we are using HA proxy for security and load balancing. Uh, IDMPA SOAP server, and uh, I miss here something, but. Uh, we like one important feature, and I would be happy if we should improve this and the uh, rating in the community, uh, which is the replication. The replication is very uh, simple to me. Why? Because we just write uh, uh, interfaces or various uh, services, like we have Amazon SQS, which is a simple queuing service. There is an open source is ActiveMQ or RabbitMQ, and so on. So if the configuration is easy. You define the replication strategy. If uh, this strategy version, so this is version it, it is important also on REST API, is uh, changed, uh, something record changed, then uh, data are replicated. We, we improve this solution, allow replicate to XML, also to JSON, and data are sent to messaging queue. Here is the invisible messaging queue. I have done time to finish my presentation fully. But Q, this queue is FIFO, and in ActiveMQ we should have uh, as many queues as want. So we should generate automatically queue, queues. And uh, on the client side, side we have JavaScript library. So ActiveMQ has the, the Stomp protocol, which is the streaming protocol. And very, very fast we can get all data from the server. Let's say if we have 100,000 uh, messages, the server produces this in two minutes. It's, it's good performance. And uh, this is automatically sent to the SKU, and device receive it by a thousand batches and store into the index at DB. So we have a browser at the end. We have a browser, either we are on, uh, on the mobile device as uh, APK, Android, or we are on the, on the Chrome browser. So this replication looks me easy. Maybe would be, in, uh, would be interesting to talk with uh, Sergey about that because he spoken about uh, the uh, option Java beans are converted to uh, JSONs by Jersey. Hope I was well. But uh, secondly, I can imagine also another solution. I can make nested objects in the export format. Very simple. I create a new format. I'm, let's say, order or product or product. Product has main object and product. Uh, I'm defined uh, ID, UID. I, I should make a search key as reference set. Then uh, name, and uh, after that I create some nested objects. So I create the second format, and nesting to this main format. So what happening? At the end, the system generates an XML or JSON, and you have the full JSON format, normal. We can support, we're supporting also arrays, uh, follow the normal uh, requirements. Oops, something went wrong. Ho, ho, ho. Help needed. No battery? I don't know. Okay, I will continue. Yes. So we create this way the replication format, and uh, at this moment uh, we haven't, we don't have any. Oh, we have two maybe use cases, but we improve it. There are some column uh, types like uh, XML reference, nested object. We create a virtual column. Let's say some specific data must be included in the JSON, and also we we are able to start process. For example, for example, we are sending data to web store and we are getting token from Amazon S3 for image, and we are sending the temporary link, which is valid until one hour. After this one hour, the image link is uh, expired. So this, this approach looks me because a uh, very human uh, way, and myself as consultant can improve this format. The second option is, okay, the decoder is sitting and write the, uh, the rest, which is better. For developer, it's this way, for me, is this way. Uh, maybe one more alternative uh, option, how we use it. We have the very generic process for replication. We have uh, event-based, when you make the change on the Java object. Uh, we, has, we have also a batch way, when we are each minutes or periodic uh, uh, 
in period we are sending data, but also we have a hack, <laughs> which was uh, if we start the process replicate, then we are able to return back from this replication format data as JSON. So the same definition, replication, export format, can be used for asynchron, export, import, and also for web service. This is hacked now, but uh, that works. Uh, but uh, but good is, uh, it is all, uh, these uh, communications always guarantee you the business uh, logic application. Because if business logic is not applied, we need validate data. Uh, let's say quantities or uh, VAT or, or all, all data. And uh, this uh, replication engine uh, help on this because uh, this run all validation logic in IDMPR. Uh, this was the simple, this is the complex concept. I, very short, client, uh, Amazon. But at the end we can this replace to open source way. And at this moment, we are looking also for opportunity to make it easier because that's time we have no rest. We need to do it somehow. And uh, many technologies can be deprecated from the, from the solution. So the communication should be easier. The maintenance uh, will be uh, slower, uh, lower. Uh, OK. Uh, Sergey uh, mentioned about components in Angular. Uh, we have some of them, like Pouch Document Provider, which is, uh, we are storing all data in uh, CouchDB. It's a NoSQL no database like MongoDB, but this is very good for mobile usability because uh, there is a pouch, there is a couch, it's the server version. The pouch GS is the mobile version and it's, it, is allo it, it has the same uh, standardized uh, interface with uh, communicate with server. Uh, user locking service. Uh, authentication provider, we have async job manager, so we are persist uh, all jobs. We have scanning service, we have filter service, and DB retention for uh, cleaning the database uh, periodic. So uh, this is something uh, which uh, is going to like something similar like framework, but this is not framework yet, it's just components and uh, can be later uh, improved and, uh, and make it better. Uh, we are using heavily one important thing about the JavaScript solutions. The JavaScript is uh, single threaded, so no multiple threads. That is a really big problem. Our solution, we, and we lost really many time on that, is uh, we put most of the uh, CPU heavy operations into the uh, web workers. That means uh, if something takes too much and uh, costs too much CPU, then what's happening? The UI is slowed down. DOM objects are, <coughs> uh, are problematic itself. But it is uh, not my main topic. Uh, I, I'm sure each uh, developer here knows what is DOM object much more than me. But if DOM object uh, solution is wrong, then I know this is slow. Yeah. Uh, the ne next uh, processes we have in a web worker at this moment, we have network detection service, which is detecting always the status of uh, network. So maybe in five seconds, if you lose the internet connectivity, then we switch to red icon and you can continue offline. Uh, logging service, we are using uh, at the end Elasticsearch for log, log parsing and Kibana for analyzing. Uh, so we have uh, IndexedDB, we are collecting offline logs. We are sending to REST, MQ service, Lobstash. It's a bit complicated, but uh, this is uh, necessary to, to stay uh, async mode and uh, not lose data. Messaging services, so if the server uh, sending you back from the events to the queue uh, JSONs, then we are parsing. And the last one is the PouchDB syncing. PouchDB is uh, the main database for documents. Uh, you know what is difference between uh, no SQL, there is a key store and also a document store. So we are using document store concept and the full document. If let's say we scan, if the uh, web uh, uh, storekeeper working in the warehouse and scan a document, then we load from the server the JSON. We store it, it in the, in in the CouchDB and synchronize it with each device. This is like network of uh, 
servers. So if, uh, let's say, uh, this device is broken or no power anymore, then he switch the new device and the data are automatically synchronized. So he can continue immediately. This is important because in the warehouses you have uh, the re requirement to stay be online or uh, work uh, immediately. Oh, this is in detail. If anybody interested, then le after presentation or later I can speak about that or ask uh, Igor it is better than me. Authentication, uh, as I, as I uh, mentioned, this, then uh, we improved the Deepak token solution and I will show you an item peer side how it looks because uh, because very easy and we have oversight on all requests. Uh, data handling, just mentioned, we have many options in web browser, cookie, local storage, WebSQL. We are not using WebSQL anymore because it is deprecated officially from, uh, from, uh, 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 from internet organization. Uh, instead, we are using indexed DB. We, we are hate indexed DB, but uh, that is the actual supported uh, storage. Uh, we are using PouchDB for uh, document store, and uh, we have uh, Amazon Cognito for key store. This is not a good solution because this is for one user handling. What we can uh, improve? <laughs> the first one would be uh, to switch to REST, true REST API, API, because at this moment this re our solution is too Mm, too costly maintaining and uh, making uh, conversion works, but uh, would be better another solution. Make it more simple. So m experimental areas uh, we have uh, must be deprecated from the system, and uh, we would like to more business applications. We have now seven, eight business applications, but we need uh, much more. And uh, the question is to stay private or work with community. That is the big question. If, if anybody interested, then we can talk about that. And uh, from this side, uh, everything. Maybe I will show you uh, the application. OK. So the, the, the work looks like we have the Node.js uh, server locally, this one. So we are start the server, this. And uh, we are opening the, the browser. Okay, I switch to uh, developer mode. You know, inspect in the in the Chrome, and uh, we have select uh, the device. Let's say in this case, I select this device. It's the Motorola scanner, the same size like this one. This is uh, the simple solution, <coughs> and uh, I am uh, logging into by pin. And you can see in the console, there are many uh, operations happening by workers. Login, uh, ops, but he stopped at, at breaking point. This is we 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 want this situation. So it's similar like in Eclipse, you can make debugging, serious debugging. So it is not just for looking into the pictures on the internet, but Chrome is at this moment serious developer tool, which is strange for me, but this is actual the situation. Okay, so I, I will continue now. So I'm logged in at this moment. And uh, this is the, for example, inventory move application. OK. I can show it some. Let's say products. Oh. Uh. This is fuzzy. JavaScript library for quick search. This can be used also in web website, for example. So this one. Uh, we have the mobile post at this moment. This is uh, oh, this is our design. It's not uh, not uh, working well. We are focusing mo mainly on uh, Android now, but uh, but uh, not all material design are very same. But this application at this moment allows to create orders. We have backend uh, order. We can send. Uh, uh, standard order, uh, warehouse order, uh, invoice order, post order, and we follow the all rules in the system. So we create shipment, invoice, uh, post payment, and so. Uh, when you want to see all data uh, in the scanner, then uh, they are here. And if you want, just for curious, show you 
where, are, where and how our data stored, stored. We have this server, which is uh, used for uh, for JSON documents. And uh, you can see, uh, if we, we make the design, we decide uh, to have for each tenant one database, not per user base, but one per tenant, because we, uh, we want to share data across tenant. And uh, if I'm opening this uh, database, let's say this one, I see there are a lot of JSONs. So at the end, this is REST, just another REST service. Uh, and last, uh, what I want to show is uh, the charts. At this moment, this is the KubeJS server. I'm sp I mentioned you. So there is a, a item pair. The item pair has uh, login. What we did, we have uh, the user, the standard object. We have identities. So why identities? One user in the system can be multiple identities in the real world, like Facebook identity, LinkedIn identity, Amazon ident identity. When we are logging, then we have Cordova plugin, and we are uh, storing and recognize the device UID. So we know which devices in which places are logged in. Yes, and uh, on that, on top of that, we have this uh, token uh, module from thanks to Deepak. And when the user log in, then uh, Deepak will know uh, we have this token provider. Oops. So standard is not, uh, in the standard version is no token provider field, but we have uh, Amazon, we have CloudMPR, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, not most of them uh, fake, but uh, we have working at this moment with uh, Amazon, but it can be extendable by, by SDK, very simple. And then normally, uh, if the user is logging, after the 15 minutes, he will be uh, the, uh, the refresh token uh, expire. What happening? Uh, if you make the click or touch or the event on the screen, then we rec request the new token. This could be also interesting because uh, GBT is one option to work with uh, authorization, but OAuth is more complex and the endos is standard. So at this moment, we have the uh, OAuth as a process, but uh, Igor suggests to replace it like service. This m should be talk with uh, speak on the workshop next days. Uh, in my opinion, it's not a big deal to uh, improve. And at this moment, after that, the item peer will sa uh, should say, "Okay, we have OAuth authentication, which is good because we are going to modern today ways." So, at the end, I want to say also in this presentation. Yes, we like item peer, but there are many other solutions. Maybe developers has not enough time to recognize all of solutions. I'm reading because I cannot code, so I have a lot of time, you know. And reading and uh, combining all of technologies, trying to understanding what is the today's technologies and uh, which, which are the technologies are effective. I cannot say item peer development is easy, but if I am uh, comparing to what can we get uh, back, then uh, I'm sure uh, it's, it is like a chart, so we can have a big effect on that. So if my customer is saying, okay, I want to charts on the warehouse in three days, then uh, we can produce this. So ma maybe many topics, but, uh, but uh, that is the most important, what I want to say. Also, you want able to de debug the device directly in Chrome. So if you have version, you can make the debug on the system. Thanks. Yes. We have an authentication provider. Yeah? Yes. And authorization provider. But this is token provider, is something different. Not, uh, uh, yeah. Can you introduce the token? Uh, the token is no one because in web services, before uh, we are using. Yes, and we are improving this token, so we are, uh, when this process, when this uh, login happening, 
Yeah. This login happening here. Then we make the records into the token okay. records. That, that's the question. Uh, when, when you log in there, you authenticate with the normal way. I didn't get normal I didn't get way. And if you have LDAP, you go to LDAP and oh, no, no, no. AD, AD user. Any users, so it, it is same like how we are authenticating. You authenticate, and then you get a token in from the rest of the session. You just use the token. Yes, uh, yes. we make the same things. It's okay. We make the same things, but the authentication. Not exactly. Yes. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. This is the Elasticsearch, <laughs> where the our logging worker behind the scene, always collecting the logs and pushing a sync way to the background, processing it. And when, if you have enough information, you can parse it, make columns, make graphs and uh, analyze the errors and problems, which is important also. Any question? Yeah. I, I just want to maybe make you a suggestion. It's, uh, we were working also with Ionic for one year. Yes. And let's say for most of the business requirements, it works very good. But once you are reaching a point where you need a good performance or you need uh, something that is uh, more native oriented to your mobile apps, uh, it's good that you consider maybe other platforms. So mm -hmm. progressive web applications are really good to have a consistent and easier deployment like this one, so which is really good for that. But it's just in, just in case that you are reaching a point where you need best performance, that was our experience. So the performance was not that good for us, and we were having problems with the native integration in some of the platforms. Yes, we have the same problems. Yeah, something like that. So that would be interesting, maybe in a long term, that you will be able maybe to use some of the experience that we are using in the other one. Okay. Because there are a lot of common components that you already have there. Uh, can you use uh, you use Ionic 4 or Ionic 1 for you? Because Ionic 4 is more performant. Uh, Ionic 4 is a uh, very big yeah. change because there is a web components uh, topic, a new, new solution, so you have so, uh, shared objects. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, Ionic 1 was very wrong, yes. just beginning. Yes, yes. 2, 3 was okay, yes. some compromises. 4 is really good, but still, yes, because we, uh, I had first idea, I was, Okay, we just create a small component, Angular component, where we enter the table and the uh, column and we return the value. Okay, but what happened? Because this was run by pipes, so after rendering, uh, the, our display was uh, waving. So each object loaded. This was wrong. Later, uh, we start to write uh, the caching. So when you, okay, you see persist cache, build cache. So most of data are caching at the beginning. So we, ha we are working hard to have a very good caching system. Otherwise, if, if you, let's say, if you have filter, that is a, a big work. Maybe the question also for web, because we, we are not, at this moment, we are not working with the REST based uh, uh, web uh, e-commerce, but uh, if, uh, for example, you have a filter, do, you don't need to persist in the cache all objects from the backend. We, we make this, this mistake in the development. Later we make a better filter. You can make views in the pouch on top of a normal object. And you ha if you have a good small uh, subject uh, scope, then your caching is much more better. Let's say if you have document list, also, uh, also is important to use a virtual, uh, virtual, uh, what is it? Scroll. Vi virtual scroll which means this virtual scroll is able to reuse the DOM object. Because if you have physical inventory with 400 lines, what's happening? Uh, the DOM object is the tree, yes? So all objects are loaded, 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 slow down as much as, so it's very, very, being slow. Uh, the device is slow down. So what we can do, and Ionic has many uh, tickets and many uh, feature requirement uh, make it better this virtual scroll, but uh, at this moment it's very usable. So if combine this uh, appropriate way, yes, it's still under under improvement. And our uh, core developer who is not here, but uh, saying okay, each half year you can rewrite the code because he know new tricks. So yes, I, I'm agree on that. Many of uh, things must be rewrite, must be rewritten. I, I cannot imagine how. Jorgian can write this code for ISMP or Compier 
which is uh, today is really uh, actu actual, it's a meta framework. Thanks. Thanks.